Hi, my name is Jamie, and once again, thank you very much for considering working with my digital marketing company. I'm the owner and founder of 30 Leads 30 Days, and today is day two. So somewhere on this page, you're gonna see a download for document two, and today I wanna quickly, very quickly, educate you on marketing or sales funnels, okay? This is a big part of what we do. We don't just create the Facebook ad and say, let's just run the ad. We actually make sure that the, that the where people land it makes sense. There's, there's uh, continuity from the ad, from the Facebook ad, to where they're landing in terms of color, in terms of messaging, in terms of just overall feel. If there is some sort of disconnect, people are out because they don't trust it, okay? So let me quickly go, this is something that everybody should know, Marketing 101, if anybody took it, I'm sure everybody did here. This is the, the either funnel, right? So this is attention, interest, desire, and action. So as people should know, we try and get as many people at the top of the funnels as possible, the attention. So in this case, it's gonna be the Facebook ad, correct? So we're gonna get their attention. Hopefully we're here, somewhere here, we're gonna get their interest. That interest is kind of what we consider the wow factor. What is it you're giving away? What is the value, the perceived value that you're gonna give somebody that they're gonna say, you know what, let me continue. You have to hit, a hopefully, an emotional desire. It might be financial, but typically emotional is better. Now, that doesn't always work. Depends on the, on the client, but we try and hit an emotion. And finally, the action. The action is you want them to click and move on, okay? So that's the AIDA, uh, A-I-D-A funnel that probably most people know about. Now, let me turn this on its head. This is another funnel, and this is kind of what we do as well. Well, kind of, this is what we do, okay? Um, let's see if I get this right. So here we have what is considered a lead magnet. So in your lead magnet, um, we're gonna give here uh, something of value. If people wanna leave their email. We're not necessarily going for the kill. We're not going for the sale. A lot of times we want just the email. Why just the email? Because then we can follow up via email, uh, a nurture sequence that is three, five, 10 emails down the road and they're getting to know us, okay? So here we might have, they go from the ad, they go to a landing page and we have a video of you talking about what it is you do. And instead of saying, come, come buy my shit, you say, listen, um, you know, give me your email, I'll send you more information about how we can help you, et cetera, et cetera. That is called a lead magnet. Now, that could be an ebook, that could be a checklist, that could be a video series. We have to define what that is. At this point, we don't know what that is. But it's something typically that is of high perceived value. And for an email, you're like, you know what? They have what I'm looking for. Let me just give my email and see what they say. Okay. Next, we have the tripwire. The tripwire, and this doesn't always happen in service industries. It may or may not take place like this, but I want to make sure that I show everybody the, the complete, uh, I guess, sideways uh, funnel. So the tripwire is more to the extent of, okay, now you've seen me. Now purchase something from me that is, that is not that expensive. For example, it might be a, a report that you know, you've had, you've had um, done for that industry, you say, you know what, for 20 bucks, purchase the report. But like, a lot of people say, why would I wanna you know, give them a report? Because you, what you wanna do is have them take out their credit card and spend money with you, okay? Well, the second somebody says, let me spend money with this, with this company, that's huge for you because that is a buyer. That is no longer a lead, a prospect, they are a buyer, even if, if it's a $1 trial, even if it's a $19 report, whatever. And it doesn't have to be that cheap. It could be $99, it could be 100 bucks, whatever that number is to you, because you might say, listen, for 200 bucks we're giving you this, but the value is $1,800. It's still good value. So the important thing here is the perceived value. How do people see it, okay? So that's, the, that's that. Now here, down the funnel, is the core product. This is the main thing you're offering, okay? This is that service or that product that you want people to buy from you. That could be a gym membership for 150 bucks. That could be a, a, a physical product that you're selling on your e-commerce store that costs 800 bucks. Or it could be, if you're, uh, let's say a lawyer, it could be you know, your, your, your uh, time with them um, that's 250 an hour. Whatever that, that core product is, that's where that goes. Now, typically, once again, we're taking them down this funnel and we're nurturing them, we're showing them the value you, you, you have for them to work with you, okay? So, hope that was clear. Finally, we have the multiplier, M. A lot of people stop here. They say, you know what, perfect, I got what, they, what, uh, what I got out of them what I want, which is to have them buy my service or product, but where some people um, stop, this is what you, can, what you can call maybe the front end, 
This is the front end of the funnel, and this is, and they can have a really long back end, but that's the back end of the funnel. So once they've bought your product, what else can you sell them? What else in terms of that, you, that you're offering? It might be a line extension. It might be a similar product that actually helps them with the first initial product they they've bought from you. That's what you want to try and sell them later on, okay? Once they've used this core product, once they've experienced it, once you get feedback, yes, it's working, it's, not, it's great, it's amazing, perfect. Then you go ahead, hey, Mr. Mr. Client, guess what, we also have this product. It's a little more expensive, but it really is gonna help you uh, do X, Y, Z. And guess what, they've already been down your funnel, they know who you are, they, they know, like, and trust you, so the chances of them buying this is that much higher. Okay, so that's day, uh, day two. Document down here, take a look. I kind of explained this in more detail. I just want to give you guys an overview of what the marketing funnel, sales funnel is that we help uh, develop for, for our customers. Uh, so tomorrow you should, you'll be getting the email number three, which talks about Facebook stuff. What do we do on Facebook that kind of uh, puts everything together? So why do you do hires? Facebook advertising company, not a funnel marketing company, but this is unbelievably important. Most people don't even consider, they forget about, they don't, they're not aware of it. We make sure that this is part of what we do for you, okay? So thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Bye.